Hi everyone, I'm Angela, and today we are going to talk a little about French. I've been learning French for a few years, but it's definitely not a French expert compared to native speakers. Nevertheless, let's talk about some interesting facts for those of you who want to learn French or perhaps just want to know the language a little bit more. So let's jump in. French had an official status in twenty nine countries. French is second only to English for the number of countries where it has official status. French is an official language in twenty nine countries, whereas English is one of the official languages in sixty seven countries. French is an official language in countries such as France, Belgium, Canada, Luxembourg, and Switzerland. It is a Romance language descended from Latin, with influences across the centuries from the Celts, the Romans, and the Vikings. French has over three hundred million speakers, around eighty million out of the three hundred million French speakers are native. As well as the eighty million native French speakers in the world, there are an estimated two hundred twenty million partial speakers, which I am a part of, and these numbers are increasing. I know most of you would want to know whether French is hard to learn. So, learning French seems very hard if you're an English speaker, but luckily, it's actually much easier to learn than you think. If you're a native English speaker, you have a huge advantage in learning French. Thanks to the similarities between the two languages, you already know a lot more than you think. However, there are challenging parts to learning French, and for me, they are pronunciations and liaisons. So the French language is widely known as being a beautiful language, but to speak this language of love properly, you have to be able to pronounce it correctly, and this can be a problem for English speakers. French pronunciations tend to make English speakers head spin. The French language tends to be difficult to pronounce at first because there are simply sounds that native English speakers aren't used to making. To begin with, French is more evenly stressed. This means that while some parts of a word are stressed, it's not as distinct as in English. Nasal vowels, back of the throat h, and silent letters make French pronunciation one of the biggest obstacles in learning French. However, the best way to improve your pronunciation is through practice. So next up, I found liaisons quite hard. So liaisons are when you pronounce the ending consonants of some words if a vowel or the letter H comes after it. An example would be les enfants, where you would pronounce the S because an E begins the next word. It sounds complex at first, but you'll get used to it. Another interesting aspect of French is counting. Every language approaches counting in its own way, but it can be particularly interesting with French, especially between eighty and ninety-nine. While in English you would say eighty, in French you would say quatre vingt or four twenties. It gets really interesting when you reach ninety-nine. Instead of saying ninety-nine, you would say quatre vingt dix neuf or four twenties ten nine. Second last fact of this video: French wasn't popular in France for some time. This is probably the strangest of these French language facts. The French language wasn't widely used across France until after the French Revolution. Before this period, France had pockets where various dialects were used. In fact, until the nineteenth century, French was used more in Germany. Before French became the official language of France, the nation spoke Latin. After the end of French Revolution in seventeen ninety nine, the French language was used by the locals. Incidentally, the French Academy, the council that regulates the French language use, was established in the sixteen hundreds, earlier than the government's edict of using French as the country's official language. Last but not the least. About thirty percent of modern English words are of French origin. 
After the Norman conquest of England in 1066, French became the language of the aristocracy and administration, which resulted in great numbers of French words and expressions being incorporated into English. Over the centuries, French remained a primary language influencing modern English. English continues to borrow words from French and adapt them into its everyday lexicon. For example, words like déjà vu or avant-garde. So that's all for today. Thanks for watching and please subscribe, like and comment below.